The arrest of those three New York suspects putting renewed focus on the funding fight for the Homeland Security Department. That funding set to run out tomorrow, even as the Senate has agreed to move forward on a bill that would keep the agency running, but omit language that would reverse President Obama's actions on immigration. Still, as the Senate looks ahead, the House of Representatives could be a major stumbling block to the bill's passage. Joining me now to talk about this from Washington, Senator John Barrasso of Wyoming. He's the chairman of the Senate Republican Policy Committee. Welcome, sir. Thanks, Carol. Thanks for having me back. Oh, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. You voted yes to move ahead with a clean bill to fund DHS. Some House Republicans will probably say you're a sellout. Are you? Well, Republicans are united on needing to do two things. One is to fund the Department of Homeland Security. You look at that story you just showed. We can see the threat of terrorists uh, overseas as well as right here at home. And the other thing that we're committed to doing is actually stopping the president's uh, overreach, his executive amnesty relating to illegal immigration. Now, realize the president has 22 times said he doesn't even have the authority to do what he has done. Now, the courts have stepped in in Texas and said, no, no, Mr. President, I realize your actions that, but I, are illegal. I, I want to go back to the DHS funding because the Senate has sort of figured it out. So Republicans in the Senate can say we don't like what the president has done on immigration, but we're going to pass a clean bill on DHS because we think it's important. The House of Representatives does not see it that way. We certainly heard that from John Boehner. That is a problem, and it is a rift among Republicans, isn't it? Well, we are going to pass a bill in the United States Senate to fund the Department of Homeland Security, and we're working on the other bill that actually tells the president he doesn't have the authority to do what he has done. The courts have said it, uh, it is a function of Congress But do you Congress think the House of Congress Representatives Congress will, will pass a clean bill? Will they introduce a clean bill and pass it in the House of Representatives? Well, the, the Senate is going to pass a bill. It's going to send it to fund the I know Department the of Health and, and it's going to send it to the House. And uh, the House members, I think they've been meeting in, ca in caucuses to discuss that. They'll make a decision, but I would hope that they would, in fact, go ahead and fund the Department of Homeland Security. I think it's important for our nation, especially in these perilous times, to make sure that the Department of Homeland Security continues to function in a seamless way. Um, what would you say to your, your colleagues, in, not your colleagues, but, you know, your brethren in the House of Representatives, those Republicans who say we will absolutely not vote for any clean bill in regards to DHS. What, you, what would you say to them? I'd say that the, the, the courts have acted, except the victory that the courts have given us, which is that the president does not have the authority to do what he has done and vote to continue to fund the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, I think that is the right decision. It's the way uh, that I'm going to vote, and I would encourage other members to vote that way of both parties, because we need to make sure that the homeland remains secure. At the same time, we want to take action against what the president's done, which I believe is illegal. The courts have done that, and this only funds the Department of Homeland Security through the end of the fiscal year, so it's basically just until October. I understand. So, so you're set to speak at CPAC today. Will you share your... Um where you share your thoughts that you just shared with me, with them, because if you do, I'm thinking you could be booed. Well, my topic at CPAC today has to do with additional presidential overreach, which is with the health care law. I'm a doctor, practice medicine in Wyoming for 25 years, and I know that what the president has done with the health care law goes beyond what the law itself says, and the Supreme Court is going to have hearings next week, a ruling in June, which I believe they're going to find that the president has acted illegally, actually in violation of the law. And the discussion topic for me today at CPAC is once again presidential overreach beyond his own authority. And then what we're going to do to respond once the Supreme Court rules in June that the president's actions then, were illegal. And then will you add it won't be to defund the DHS? That's not how you fight the president's plans on immigration? Well, I believe that the president's plans on immigration are illegal, and the courts have said that. The president himself said 22 times he doesn't have the authority to do what he has done. Democrat members of the Senate have questioned the president's no, I, authority I do understand to do that, what he sir. has done. I do understand that, sir. I just meant that um, immigration shouldn't be tied to DHS. You just said that, and I just wondered if you would share that with CPAC today. Well, the topic that I'm there to talk today at CPAC is as a doctor on the replacement and the repeal of the president's health care law. As a doctor, I'm going to talk about ways we can actually help 
patients, which was the goal of this in the first place, but this health care law continues to be unworkable, uh, really still very unpopular across the country and unaffordable for us as a nation. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, Republican Senator John Barrasso of Wyoming, thank you, sir, for joining me this morning. I appreciate it. Thanks, Carol.